I met you over 10 years ago and I loved you. Pretty much instantly. Um, I wasn't ready to tell you that for a long time. <laughs> um, but through all of that, you've taught me how to love and forgive and laugh. It's gonna happen. Keep going. Forward to a life of all of that with you, and taking care of you, and being taken care of, and uh, thank you for picking me. Amanda, please place the ring on Philip's finger. Amanda, as you said about 10 years ago, I came to your house on a cold winter's morning to share food with your friends and family. You had given me a task because even at that time I was a broke, silly guy and you had asked me to build a fire in your fireplace. Uh, my father instilled that if something is worth doing, it's worth doing with patience, with love, and not to give up. So I sat there all day long trying to build you that fire. <laughs> and no one thought I could do it. But I did it for you. And I warmed your house. And that's what I'm going to do for the rest of my life, is to build those planes our heart. And it's not always going to be a raging inferno, but I promise to always protect those embers and to always keep us warm and to protect you, to love you, and to let that warmth create more silly, goofy, loving, tender adventure for Yours was so much better, that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, please place the ring on Amanda's finger. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to see this through my tears right now. <laughs> okay. A wedding is largely about symbols. Symbols are important and helpful because they make an idea and a value concrete and physical something we can see and touch. They're helpful because they serve as a powerful reminder of a time and a place and a memory, a feeling and even a promise that may have faded over time, but is still there. I need the ribbon. Would you please put your hands together? <laughs> Hand fasting is a symbol like this. It's one of the world's oldest wedding traditions and it's found in cultures all over the world. In joining hands, Amanda and Philip their lives to one another. And in fastening their hands together, the ribbon symbolizes how they leave this place today with lives. How after today, an idea of two stories come together and two sets of hopes and desires for the future are joined in commitment and intention. Amanda and Philip, as I fasten your hands together and I've tied this knot, I invite you to reflect on the joy and responsibility that awaits you. From today, being bound together in the commitment and intention of marriage, a lifelong safe place to love and be deeply loved by the other. Philip and Amanda, may you know and feel and remember always that together in this marriage, you are each deeply known and deeply loved. Amanda and Philip, I would ask that you always treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourselves often of what brought you together today. Give the highest priority 
to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration and difficulty assail your marriage as they do to every relationship at one time or another, focus on what is right between you, not what seems to be wrong. When clouds of trouble hide that sun in your lives, you lose sight of it for just a moment, but you can remember that there is still the light that you created. If each of you take responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked with abundance and happiness. This I promise you. Philip and Amanda, friends and family, by the power vested in you by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you officially and freaking finally married. Woo